Hi, I'm Dr. Masha, naturopathic doctor and hyperbaric expert. In this video, you will learn how hyperbaric oxygen therapy can be helpful in male factor infertility. Infertility is a tough diagnosis. Treatments are expensive and they're not always successful. Hyperbarics can be a potential solution for many factors of male infertility. But patients and doctors are often unaware of its benefits and don't know how to apply hyperbarics in the context of infertility. In this video, I will outline specific indications in which hyperbarics can be helpful and explain which pressures at what frequency of treatments should be used to achieve best results. If you'd like to learn more about male factor infertility, infertility and hyperbaric oxygen therapy, subscribe to my channel to receive videos every week. Infertility is often viewed as a woman-only condition. Immense reproductive health is largely ignored. But in fact, men and women can be diagnosed with infertility and both suffer equally. Male factor infertility is responsible for 40% of infertility cases. Sperm counts have declined 60% in the last 40 years. Men are facing a fertility crisis. Many men who are diagnosed with infertility face an emotionally complex journey. Though men and women carry an equal burden, the focus is still so much more on a woman when it comes to fertility treatments. Women feel like there are more resources out there for them to learn about the treatments and the path to parenthood. Male infertility or male fertility is a function of sperm production, sperm quality, and sperm delivery. Male infertility is possibly easier to diagnose than female infertility, and there are several treatment options available. Assistive reproductive technology, ART, is usually a therapy of choice. Hormones and surgery can also be recommended depending on a diagnosis, as well as complementary alternative medicine treatments. These complementary alternative medicine treatments such as acupuncture and lifestyle changes can be especially helpful because they're aimed at overall health optimization and overall health improvement. Today we'll specifically talk about the causes of male infertility in which hyperbaric oxygen therapy can be helpful. So let's define hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Hyperbaric stands for increased atmospheric pressure that the patient is exposed to inside the hyperbaric chamber. Oxygen is for increased oxygen available to cells and tissues. So net result of hyperbaric oxygen therapy is increased energy production, regeneration, repair, and growth. If you'd like to learn more about hyperbarics and how it can help in cases of male factor infertility, I offer 15 minutes free consultations to help you determine if hyperbarics is the right therapy in your case. You can book a free consultation at www.dramasha.com forward slash hbot forward slash or use a link in the podcast description. When we talk about male infertility, we talk about the sperm. So let's start. For male uh, fertility, there are several aspects of sperm that we're interested in. First is sperm motility. Motility refers to ability of the sperm to swim. It's important because sperm needs to move through the woman's reproductive tract to fertilize an egg. A total motile sperm count over 20 million is considered to be normal, and 50% of the spermatozoa should be motile. If we have less than 4 million um, motile and 30% overall quantity uh, motile, it's considered to be poor sperm quality and can impede pregnancy. Hyperbaric oxygen treatments can help improve motility of the sperm. The effect of hyperbaric oxygen is instantaneous and it's due to improvement in mitochondrial function of the sperm. Sperm middle piece contains mitochondria and it plays a critical role in energy production and it helps to ensure their reproductive success. Second factor we're looking at is morphology. Morphology is the size, shape, and appearance of the sperm. Abnormal morphology means that the sperm cannot move freely. It might have a difficulty puncturing an egg. How do you know whether morphology might be a problem? Sperm analysis. One abnormal test does not mean that a man has an infertility problem. For the diagnosis, you need a series of at least three abnormal tests 
and a history of inability to achieve pregnancy. Men with low morphology tests can still achieve a pregnancy. However, when it comes to an IVF procedure, morphology really matters because most of the studies show that poor morphology negatively affects IVF outcomes. Hyperbaric oxygen improves sperm morphology. The results are seen three months after the initiation of a series of hyperbaric treatments. So remember when we talked about motility, effect is instantaneous. Hyperbaric session in the morning, in the evening you see the results. With morphology, you have to wait. Another factor that's super important for male fertility is sperm DNA fragmentation rate. It's vital for successful fertilization, embryo development, pregnancy, and transmission of genetic material to the offspring. Sperm DNA fragmentation is one of the main causes of failed IVF attempts and early miscarriage. Several studies show that spermatozoa with DNA fragmentation are able to fertilize a oocyte, but are related to abnormal quality embryo, uh, which could be blocked in blastocyst development and are related to lower pregnancy rates. DNA fragmentation is usually a result of high levels of reactive oxygen species in the seminal fluid. If sperm DNA fragmentation exceeds 30%, sperm quality is significantly reduced. There was a study done when they uh, examined the samples, the sperm samples of male infertility patients three months after the hyperbaric uh, application. And it was determined that group that uh, both groups went through IVF procedure. And it was determined that group that did hyperbarics and IVF had a pregnancy rate of 66%, where the group that just did IVF had a pregnancy rate of 33% only. So you could see uh, how successful and how effective was hyperbaric oxygen therapy for these patients. If you'd like to learn more about cutting-edge research in the field of infertility, women's health, and hyperbaric oxygen therapy, subscribe to my channel with the link below. Moving right along, varicosal. Varicosal is an enlargement of the veins in the scrotum. Oftentimes, it results in poor sperm quality. In varicosal, HBOT can be beneficial in cases where testicular circulation is impaired or if there was an ischemia reperfusion injury. Varicelectomy is a surgery that removes swollen veins inside the scrotum. And when it's done in conjunction with hyperbarics, the improvement in semen quality and sperm penetration index and pregnancy rate is much higher than in cases of just varic varicoselectomy. Another case where hyperbarics could be helpful is azospermia, or the absence of the sperm. Until very recently, azospermic men were not able to have a biological child. Right now, we have a procedure, and although a success rate is still currently low, at least it enabled some of the azospermic men to have their genetic children. It's called ROSI. And one of the most critical problems with ROSI is that the spermatids that are obtained cannot fertilize an egg very well. HBOT can increase success rate of ROSI procedure. A recent study that was published in March um, 21 showed a positive effect of hyperbaric oxygen treatments in cases of azospermia and globozospermia. That's a condition, a genetic disorder, when sperm is shaped abnormally and achieving pregnancy is really complicated. Again, before ICSI procedure, there was no treatment option for global zospermic patients. However, when compared to general population, the success rate of ICSI and global zospermia is still very low. According to the study that was published in March, when combined with hyperbarics, ICSI has a much higher fertilization rate and higher pregnancy rate. Erectile dysfunction can be a contributing factor to male infertility, as it gets in the way of ejaculation and it oftentimes it has the same root causes as male infertility. Blood flow disruption is present at 60% of patients with erectile dysfunction. And we know that hyperbarics induces generation of new blood vessels and is highly effective in recovering erectile function. So what's the take home message after this video? 
Hyperbaric oxygen treatments should be started three months before planned IVF procedure or natural conception because this is how long it takes for sperm to renew itself. The process is called spermatogenesis. The supplementation, the regular supplementation, antioxidant supplementation could be used concurrently with hyperbarics. Both mild and high pressure have shown positive results and clinical studies have used pressures from 1.2 to 2.3 treatment sessions were from 60 minutes to 120 to 120 minutes and results were comparable. For those of you who want to understand the science behind hyperbarics and male infertility, the effect is thought to be due to hyperbarics affecting mitochondrial energy production, as we've seen in motility, triggering response of enzymatic antioxidant defense system, as we're seeing in DNA fragmentation and morphology, and improving testicular circulation, as we see in cases of erectile dysfunction and varicocele. If you'd like to learn more about hyperbaric oxygen therapy and infertility, you can go to my website at www.drmasha.com forward slash hbot forward slash. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to receive more videos about infertility, hyperbaric oxygen therapy, and women's health.